Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be walking you through how to install the Oblivion Script Extender. This is an alternative to my other tutorial in which I used Mod Organizer, but unfortunately there have been some software updates since my last tutorial, and I decided to use a different mod manager to bypass some of those issues. So before we get started, please know how to do the following things, as I will not be discussing them in this tutorial. Uh, how to unzip and extract files how to access and download files from Nexus Mods, how to navigate files on your computer, and how to keep your patience when Oblivion and OBSE inevitably decide not to work. So the first thing you wanna do is install Oblivion. I am using the Steam version on Windows 7, and I've done a clean install for this tutorial. So due to issues with Windows, I would suggest not installing Oblivion under program files. I have Oblivion installed in a completely different location on a separate drive with all of my other games, but pretty much anywhere other than program files should be fine. If you do have Oblivion under program files, I can't promise that Windows isn't going to interfere, but you're welcome to still continue to try this tutorial. At this time, if you have not played Oblivion and don't have a saved game, load up Oblivion and start a new game and then make a save once you've gotten past the initial cutscenes. You're going to need that save for future parts of the tutorial. At this point, you can go download all the files that you're going to need, or you can download them as you go. I already have all of mine downloaded and unzipped, but I will tell you which ones you need and all of the links will be in the description. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is download uh, Rybash. This is the one I'm gonna be using. Uh, it's been my favorite Oblivion mod manager. It's simple, it's clean, and I can actually get it to work the majority of the time. I haven't had any issues with it. You can pick it up on Nexus Mods, just download it manually, and then you can unzip it to get the installer. So we're just gonna do that, and you just wanna follow the directions on here. Um, it says to close everything. Don't install it for Skyrim SE. I don't need that. I just need it for Oblivion. I'm gonna go ahead and do the standalone. Not gonna do it for New Vegas or Fallout 4. And you can also install it to extra locations, which I'm not gonna do. And I'm just gonna do all of the basic stuff and it'll just install pretty quick. And once it's done, you're, you're pretty much good to go. I don't really want to um, you view the readme, but you can actually click on Oblivion and it should load for you. Okay, so once the bash gets done installing and you open it up, this is what it's going to look like. This is all of the DLC that comes with the gold edition on uh, Steam. So you've got Shivering Isles and Frost Crag and all that kind of good stuff. That's all in here. So next we're gonna download the OBSE tester and unzip it as well. I've already gone ahead and done this. And inside here is going to be a OBSE test plugin.esp, which is the file type that Oblivion uses for add-ons and DLCs. Inside of the Oblivion data, if you go and go here, there's all sorts of ESP files in here. So we're gonna copy the ESP file and we're going to just paste it in here. Once we go over to bash now, you can see that the OBSE test plugin is now available. We're gonna go ahead and check it. So that means it is now active. Once we've done all this, we actually want to exit out of Steam. So I'm gonna go ahead and just exit out of it. And we're going to go to the start menu or wherever you have the shortcut to load Steam. We're gonna right click and go to properties. Inside of Steam Properties, we're going to go to Compatibility, and you want to check uh, Run This Program as Administrator if it's not already checked. If you do not have this Compatibility tab in Windows 10, there's going to be a link in the description to a tutorial on how to troubleshoot that issue. It's not something we have here as I'm using Windows 7. Once you have that, go ahead and reopen Steam and say yes. All right, once we have reopen Steam, just go ahead and play The Elder Scrolls 4. So we wanna open up a saved game and we're just gonna let it sit for a moment. Okay, good. So you should be getting this box here. It says, welcome to the OBSE test. The first 
message box is used to alert you that the mod is active and continuing happily. After closing this box, wait about 15 seconds. Another message box should pop up informing you about OBSC and its current working condition. Please do not go into any menus while you are waiting for the script to run. Thanks. Go ahead and click done and just, just wait for a moment. Okay, so after about 15 seconds, you get OBSC is not working properly. This is usually caused by two things. Well, we haven't installed OBSC yet, so this is actually good, but this does mean that the tester is working. So let's go ahead and exit out. If the OBSC tester is not popping up, do not continue, do not pass go, do not collect 100 septum coins. Getting the tester working will let you know if the mod manager is working and it's likely that OBSC will not work if the tester isn't working. So I'm not gonna debug it here, but if it's not working, it, you need to get it fixed before you go on. So our next task is to install OBSC. There are instructions on how to install OBSC on Nexus mods, and I highly suggest you read and follow these instructions. I will be reiterating the Steam Edition right here, but there's also the non-Steam Edition. So make sure you pick the correct one and follow the instructions. For what we're gonna be doing, you need to download the OBSC manually and then extract it and you need to copy three files, the OBSC 12416 DLL, the OBSC editor 12, and the OBSC Steam loader. Go ahead and copy those. Then head back to the Oblivion folder, and you want to be at the top level, so go ahead and just paste those three files in here. It is the same place where Oblivion and Oblivion Launcher are. Now we're gonna go ahead and load up Oblivion again and see what happens. Okay, so OBSC has been correctly installed and we have OBSC version 21 and we can always check for updates. This is great. Actually, I wasn't, in, I wasn't expecting this to work the first time around as it didn't last time. And let me tell you what I did to fix it. Ignoring the technical details, if you haven't granted OBSC the rights to do what it needs to do to run properly, uh, you will have some issues. So if you head to your Oblivion folder, but go up one level to common, then right click on Oblivion and go to properties, go to security. You will see that authenticated users do not have full control. So click on edit and then just click on allow underneath the permissions for authenticated users. The rest of them should already have that checked, but the authenticated users probably doesn't. And see if that helps. So a couple of additional notes before I end this tutorial. The biggest issue with OBSC is that it can't write the files that it needs to run in order to run properly. So as long as you give it the right permissions, it should run. This is why installing Oblivion under program files can be a huge issue since Windows can take away permissions even if you try and tell it to give you those permissions. This is because Windows is a jerk. I can't seem to get Mod Organizer or Mod Organizer 2 to work as easily as uh, Wire Bash or Weary Bash. So I'm sorry, I tried those two, but really uh, Weary Bash is my favorite. And the older tutorial, which will be linked in the description, does talk about installing Blockhead and the character overhaul. So as far as I know, that part of the tutorial is working just fine. So let me know in the comments if you were able to get it to work or if you weren't able to get it to work. Let me know what system are you using? What version of Oblivion are you using? And, um, you know, did you do all of the steps or did you skip something? You know, what's what do you think's going on? And I appreciate you guys watching this little extra tutorial and hopefully I will see you in a modded Oblivion.